um, will only work with reading and writing files, maybe even editing the files. Um, and anything uh, that deals with files requires pretty much system.io. So uh, anything that that has to do with files requires system.io. So uh, let's always include that when you're doing that, of course. Uh, excuse me, right here. And now let's talk about modifying a file. So first, let's talk about creating one. Um, in doing so, we're going to use the file class. Uh, the file class gives us access to a lot of functions. Um, you can look this up yourself if you want to know more about the file class, but I'll be going through a couple of basic uses of the file class, and this is how we create files um, and edit the files. But first, let's create a file path. So string is, let's call this path is equal to, uh, let's see, in my C drive, uh, call it just a temp folder, and then we're going to call the file um, test text, and then that txt. Um, however, we want to have the at symbol since this takes. Now uh, the problem is that the backslashes uh, pretty much allow us to skip the next character in um, coding. Uh, when we say take, when we say at. It pretty much says take all these as literal text, and because we need the backslashes to access uh, our files and directories, pretty much. So first, let's make sure that there is no file uh, called test text in our um, folder. So in order to do that, let's just you we're going to be using file exist. So file that exists. Just pretty much checks if there's a file uh, named text within this folder. So checks if there is a, a file of such name in such directory. All right, so let's do if file that exists, and then if we feed our path. We're going to just delete it. So, in order to delete a file, all we do is just file that delete, and then uh, just you know we include the path here. So path uh, deletes such file from the directory. Uh, this is only a check, so it does, that doesn't mean that there's a file there. But if there is, uh, we want to delete it. So file that delete. And then path. So that's the first thing we want to do. So now let's talk about creating uh, a new file. Uh, for the sake of our video, we're going to use the simpler uh, forms of creating uh, a file, which pretty much creates the file, allows us to write to the file, and then instantly closes the file within one call. So we're going to talk about file that write all text which uh, this uh, opens or creates a file if there isn't one. Creates, a f creates the file, allows us to write to it, and then closes the file. Uh, if the file exists,